Hello and welcome to Magic in the Middle. I'm your host, Jessica Vitalis, and this month we're going to be talking about Josephine Against the Sea, which is a funny and captivating story based on Caribbean lore. The story is about 11-year-old Josephine, who is not at all happy when her father starts spending time with friends who happen to be attractive women. The story opens with Josephine launching Operation Slime, and I'm not going to give you any details because I don't want to ruin the moment for you, but I will tell you that the operation is designed to give her daddy's new friend a taste of what it feels like to date a fisherman. And I'll also tell you that the scene had me laughing out loud. That's not to say the story is all fun and games. Josephine has a deep-seated love for cricket, which she used to watch with her mother. But since her mother died, her father always falls asleep in front of the television when she tries to watch it with him. Josephine tries to rekindle her father's love of the game by joining the school's cricket team, but that requires convincing the coach that girls should be allowed to play. On top of that, Daddy brings home a new lady friend, a woman who is so polished that Josephine thinks she might be a mannequin. The new friend, Maris, worms her way into their lives, making her daddy so dreamy that he doesn't seem to notice all the changes Maris is making, like the new diets and the picture of Josephine's mom that used to be on display. At first, Josephine thinks she and Maris might be engaged in a battle for her daddy's heart, but eventually she realizes that the foe she's fighting might not even be human. Now, the book is full of humor and action, and I love the mythology that it draws on, as well as the fact that it tackles really important things, but my favorite thing about the book is the characters. Josephine and her father are so sweet, and he calls her Bean, which I absolutely love. I also love her friendship with her best friend, Akai. He is on the spectrum, and the relationship between the two is just simple, unconditional friendship and acceptance. Another of my favorite characters is Akai's mother. She's exuberant, but extremely superstitious. For example, she always leaves a banana peel outside her house to ward off thieves who would never break into a house guarded by tiny leprechaun creatures that are kept in bottles, but protect their owners as long as they are fed milk and bananas. Now, way back in high school, I gave a speech on superstitions, and I always think it's fascinating to hear what superstitions people have. I'm not super superstitious myself, but I do always set my alarm clock to odd numbers. So if you or anybody you know has a superstition, I would love to hear about it. I can be reached at jessicavitalis.com or on Twitter at Jessica Vitalis. In the meantime, I would definitely encourage you to check out Josephine Against the Sea, and I hope that you'll be back next month for more Magic in the Middle.